going to be showing and debuting our Vanish windshield repair system. We're going to be working on this vehicle right here to actually do a chip repair to kind of walk you guys through the steps and processes of the tool. Um, I'm going to start though by kind of walking you through uh, the different parts and components associated with the product. Really excited about it. Let's get started. So we're going to start by uh, showing you the Vanish Bridge. The Vanish Bridge is built on a tripod self-leveling system. It has an integrated lithium ion battery that produces about 150 to 200 repairs before it needs to be charged through a USB-C port. On and off switch, which is timed, your curing process is 15 seconds. That's 15 seconds for a fully cured windshield repair. That's our dark cure windshield repair technology. Um, we're going to jump now from the bridge to the Vanish injector, and I'll kind of talk about that a little bit. All right, we're moving on to our Vanish injector body. Now, we've made some improvements to our injector technology, which includes this Helios design, which allows you to seat the injector body into the Vanish bridge, give it a quarter to a half of a turn, and you're literally seated against the surface of the windshield that quick. We've updated our in seal of this tool to be an X seal, which offers a little bit more flexibility and it allows you to seat onto the glass easier. Uh, we also have our speed lock technology built into this tool, which I'll discuss a little bit more when I get into the plunger. We're gonna jump into our Vanish plunger, which is the piece that fits inside our Vanish injector body. Now this is the piece that produces our vacuum and pressure. It's a larger diameter injector uh, plunger which is allowing us to displace more vacuum and apply more pressure to the windshield chip. It has our built-in speed lock technology so it again will be able to sit this in a vacuum or pressure state and then it also has our one-touch uh, vacuum and pressure equalizing valve. So that allows us to kind of quickly switch between our vacuum and pressure. Excited about this. We'll see how the, all those components kind of fit together. All right, we're going to be working on this chip right here, which is a combination brake. We're going to start by putting our vanish bridge and centering it right over that brake. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of lubricant on each one of our suction cup legs here and then we'll go about um, attaching that to the glass. So next, we're gonna take our Vanish injector body with this Helios design, and we're gonna line that up with our internal pin inside our bridge, and we're gonna go ahead and seat that against the glass, which it is centered right over the center of the pit so that our X seal seats. Now we're gonna go ahead and give that a quarter turn and that locks your injector in place. Okay, now we're gonna take our Diamond Clear MV resin and we're going to put about four or five drops of that product right into the injector body. Okay, so now that we've put that MV resin into the injector body, we're gonna let that run down to the tip of our injector body seated against the glass and let that uh, start to saturate the, the chip. Now we're going to take our speed lock plunger and we're going to line it up with our injector plunger channel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and marry those two parts up. And those two parts are now connected which allows us to move between our vacuum and our pressure. So we're going to start by going to a vacuum cycle to pull all the air out of the brake. We're going to do that by depressing our one-touch valve and pushing our plunger all the way down to a bottomed-out position and releasing that valve. Next, we're going to draw that plunger back and lock it into our vacuum state. We're going to let it sit in a vacuum state for about a minute. So now we're going to switch between our vacuum uh, state to our pressure state. We're going to do that by depressing our one-touch valve to release our vacuum. And then we're going to go ahead and twist the 
plunger down into a locked pressure state. And we're going to let it sit on pressure for about two minutes. All right, now that we've went through our vacuum and pressure cycles, we're now ready to cure this repair. Uh, we're going to cure it while we're still under a pressure state, uh, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that we've cured the perimeter of our repair, we're going to go ahead and disengage our injector, release our pressure, and go ahead and uh, apply a small bit of pit filler and do a final cure on our repair here. All right, now that the repair has been cured, we're going to go ahead and remove our pit curing tab, and we're going to go ahead and scrape that and polish it uh, to a smooth finish. Thanks for watching an introductory to the Vanish windshield repair system. Again, this system is on pre-order. Uh, you can order it directly at gtglass.com or through an authorized distributor.